On the spot news media, we got the latest news. We don't care about the views, we just represent it right. Put local news internationally every night. On the spot, wave that Jamaican flag from left to right. Let's get it right, y'all know the type. We ain't dealing with the hype. We make it take flight. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, what a guan. A blessed and wonderful uh, Thursday evening to each and every person out there tuning into on the spot news media. Now, my peeps, I have a story to share with you, the regular members of Chan Public, and also members of the diaspora. So please like the video, share the video, watch the entire vlog so you can get a full understanding and a better appreciation of everything we are going in Jamaica. So, watch this now, my peeps. In the evening, we are going to talk about a real. Touchy topic. Me got label the one ya PG sixteen also and if you na feel like say a sixteen year old for listen this, you can ask them to excuse out of the room because the one ya really really touchy. But make them stay still because them have to learn and understand how this world has become. Now me could narrate down to our island home Jamaica. Jamaica, the country that was once dubbed, and I did say was once dubbed the most homophobic country on planet Earth. And now it seems as if we have way more for funky people in this place here, yeah, more than ever. Yeah, man. Now the other day, I carried this vlog presently on your screen. With a young man that goes by the name of Michael Reed, but more popularly known in the social media space as Cornerstone Boss. Now, uh, this young man was abused at the age of 14 by a grown man. I went there, we say abuse, we are talking about the whole long and tech type of thing. Yeah, man, he definitely deal with the man a certain type of way. So, he come out on the program, him pour out himself and basically make the regular members of Chan Public know what happened to him. And he's basically seeking some help to deal with the mental trauma of what he went through as a 14-year-old boy child who was abused by a grown man that he entrusted himself in. So now he came on the program, he said what he said, covered the vlog. A lot of people really respect the very grung way he walk pan to come out and speak out about the ills that is happening because many others like himself is suffering in silence. So he basically opened the door, he broke the ice for others who have went through a similar situation and I live with it or is going through a similar situation and I live with it. So hats off to you, Michael Reed, for basically breaking the ice to expose these ills that is happening to some of our nation's boys. So he got some sort of attention from the public. We are talking about Jamaicans for justice. We see it got covered by TVJ. And he was also reassured by the Assistant Commissioner of Police in charge of Era 1 that the matter will be dealt with and the perpetrator of the crime is presently being sought by the police. Just so you know, this man presently on your screen is wanted for the offence of Cornerstone Boss. We're going back when Cornerstone Boss was 14 years old. So in recent days, Cornerstone Boss make another video. This video surfaced on social media. I go play it for now before we get into the meat of the matter. Listen. Boom, for you see face say here, right? You know, Cornerstone Boss attack. I mean, I make it be clear. I mean, I love man. Here, I mean, I go man with None tall, a straight woman. So you see, if you man, I text down my phone, and I talk about them want to suck wood and they want to know if I'm single and I'm sitting there. I'm not going to man. 
here, I don't do nothing in a man, brother. I don't do man none at all. You see me? I don't understand how the fuck that you realize that you get molested. And you come come bring the same thing to me, bro. Like, in a real life, um, seriously, how that makes sense? You see me? You text me and say you don't reach out. But you don't reach out, bro, fam. I don't do man. Never will. You see me? So I make it clear from now. And if you can't text my phone, I go expose you by name. Is it me buy a picture and anything? I'm serious. This is a warning. When you stop text my phone, I'm a fuck man. Alright. So after I saw this post surface on social media, I personally reached out to Michael Reed, aka Cornerstone Boss, and asked him for myself a worry to go on. Now he forwarded some of the this disturbing text messages from some of these males and I can't believe that these males are actually Jamaicans living in Jamaica poor I may I tell you and you would never believe some of the persons who reach out to this man now the first thing that them do they might reach out as if they might try to help. But them just squeeze in and I beg him some of him rear end. Can't believe say, this thing here. Trust me, I go on in a Jamaica. You literally cannot make things like this up. I have some of the messages that he forwarded to me presently in front of me. I will not disclose the identity of the persons because he asks me not to. So I am definitely respecting his wishes and of course his safety. But this young man needs help. He needs financial help. He needs mental help, psychological help, social help, all different type of help but if the help i go come with anything other than just the help in its truest and purest form leave the young man alone now i have something from him for you who is texting his phone so now just please respectfully listen to what he has to say yeah, father, you know, so you're up on my life yesterday, yeah, man. Early morning, bro. And he's alive. Done, so, brother. One man takes my phone and I ask him, boy, if I'm single and all that. You see me? That's a, that's a nowadays, I stop even asking people request from TikTok. I just load them. You see me? When they send for follow request, I don't follow nobody. I just stop following people overall. You see me? Because when I follow the when I accept their follow request and they start texting me, I didn't think I didn't bring, bro. You see me? I'm a holy father to chat with people from way back when. And I just know, brother, I from a longer time from. You see me? It's because I'm always trying to deal with people from a respectable level. So when they text my phone, I'm not going to just bash a man, bro. You see me? I try to understand people and hear them out. But once I realize, so, they might go on a different road, I just cut off the conversation. You see it? Yeah, bro, I didn't think the farm is in me. All the time, I just leave people respectable. Always. Is in me. But when I find out, say, yo, yeah, I bring one different something to me, I just cut your car. So, I know what I stand for, I know what I don't go to. Never will. Yeah, bro, in a real life, I make it clear, brother. I'm not into man. Is in me. I'm not going to man over here, bro. I'm going to do them things in the farm. Is in me. If I'm a woman, I'm going to say yes. Is in me. But the other man me and text me and I, and I, I have the intention of texting me with sexual sexual business. No, I'm not telling you from no. Do not text my phone. I'm not in the man. I know I'm gonna text my phone but then go help me. And when they say they go help me, they will bring sexual argument to me. If you reach out to me as a real GS bro, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna take your help. But they go reach out to me and, and then they go say, oh, yeah, look sex hard, yeah, look some sexual behavior in return. Keep your help from using it respectfully. I am not in to man. All right. 
So to all of the little fish, them, the little swim around, the little whale tail, the little fa funky youth, them out there, leave the people, them boy, pick me alone. The man no inner man. The man no go through a certain experience, and may I tell you, traumatize him and mash him up real bad. And all you know I try to do is just come add to the already existing pain in the youth. Poor, I may I tell you. Now, one of the message them with the man forward to me, because he make sure he screenshot it so he not hide nothing. The boy text the man and talk about, hey, the boy in the inner, no shot. He see me a show six pack and big chest, like him a try to impress the youth. Talk about, hey. So the youth return back the message and say, greatness. So he asks which part the youth come from and ask the youth if him single. So the youth that a kind of stone boss have to send him up really deep and their mother at the same time. So him thought about why the youth being so disrespectful, him just ask him a simple question. So the man send him up again, way up on their mama, well deep, rightfully so. Yeah, man. I saw the thing said. So respect can as to one boss. Nobody make none of them boy dry out in a them dirty fishy lifestyle. A next one reach out to the youth and a talk about, hey, what go on? So you into guys, the man of a send him up again and I say, youth, after me got you such a traumatic experience at this, you are coming at my inbox with and I tell me about you want to help me and I try to help yourself round at one part. Boy, I tell you my peeps, the thing really, really rough. So I'm now speaking to the nation's parents, please. Protect your boys. Make sure so you not try on the best with the pitney them and instill certain morals in them. Even if you no poor and can't afford certain things, tell them, instill it in them. Make sure say them not go astray and make man take off them pants for once. Whole heap of predators, the out there. And this is a prime example that there is a lot. You remember what the man said in the interview, you know. And for those who know watch it, go and go watch it. It is on YouTube. Yeah, man. He stated in the interview, say, politician, pastors, leaders in certain private and public entities, reach out to him and try to help him but they had it in their nasty intentions to help themselves so people of jamaica be warned look out and watch out for your boys instill certain morals in your children and not just your boys because some of these Pedos, some of these like a nastiness, them go to the female them too, and go in at the female them back part, and those types are the worst types, because which part you fi go, the right they so and then still I go wrong so, yeah man, a real meds right I know in our streets, so parents. Make sure so you keep a keen eye on our nation's children. Really sad with this youth here. I feel I got you after such a traumatic experience and the mafia live with that. And people want to put him through more trauma. One of the boy them even say, because him know of cases where man go through them trauma there and just Ton of fish right after. So him just a check with him to see if him gone the way there fully. Can you imagine that? Poor I may tell you. Anyway, my peeps, remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned to On The Spot News Media as I continue to bring you fresh news and updates in subsequent newscast. On The Spot News Media. Yeah, man.